Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Draft of Glory. Two more to do this week and then we're going to be golden in the position to hopefully do another week's worth because I'm away uh, next week uh, for a couple of days. And you can see we sold up a few stuff. Some of us we haven't, but I don't mind if it does or doesn't go anyway. We're up to 2.25 million. Actually losing the final yesterday puts us in a good position to actually earn money for a change. Uh, so hopefully we can have another day like that today. So 15,000 coins to enter drops us down to two, uh, 210. And uh, formation wise, we went 352 yesterday. I'm not going to do that again. The 4231. And I might go uh Yeah, I might as well go narrow, I think. I am. I'm going to go Nabo, guys. The formations didn't really gift us anything good here. Uh, but let's see what we get to start off with. We don't even get to start off with... Uh, a, what do you call it? A prime moment icon. I've seen people rocking them in draft numerous amount of times. We have not been as lucky to get one. We do get an icon. We get uh, Butrogeno, which is nice. Could potentially be a perfect link as well, because he was ex-Real Madrid. Suarez. He was alright last time I used him. The uh, rest of the players were alright as well, but I'm going to go with Luis Suarez uh, from Barca. Because um, we're isolating links off already, which is pretty nice. Paul Pogba. Guendouzi. Uh, I'm going to go with Paul Pogba. 90 rated. It's not his headliner version, but it's still a nice card anyway. Jorginho on the, uh, in the middle or on the left would be nice. It might be a mixture of Premier League slash La Liga. Bruno. He will be easier to link with when he's got really, really low pace. But uh, like I said, guys, he is easier to link with and move them two round. It works a little bit better. The only problem that comes with this formation is the links at the back. Marcelo, Mendy, Ashley Young as well. Uh, but I'm going to go with Marcelo. Even Mendy will be a really good shout. But for team, actually, who will be a good shout? Mendy. Yeah, Team Leo Marcelo, we're going to go with. We'll move these two around. And then hopefully get a Sergio Ramos at the back. <laughs> okay. Or, or one of these will be uh will be garbage anyway. Um I'll go with Orban. I don't know why I picked Orban, but I'll go with Orban. Next to him, PK. Which would work. So we'll go with PK. 69 chemistry. And then left back. A right back, sorry. Doherty of Wolves. It's a Premier League link. It's in one of the new versions as well, this one, isn't it? Uh, Koke as well, but I am going to take uh, Doherty uh, for the uh, right back. And then the goalkeeper, David De Gea. Nice. Not a bad base, uh, to be honest, to start off with. Um, we're going to go with a free picks. No, we're going to pick the defenders. We're going to see which defenders we get first. We need a centre back. We get a centre back. We get a left back as well. We get Reyes. Which one? Um... Obviously, Bruno is going to be the best shout for chemistry. You know. Yeah, we'll go with Bruno, but I don't, really don't want him at the back to be honest. Takes us a ninety-one chem. Next centre back, or oh, ooh, Delict and Lala. Um, Ken Lala will be good, but I'm going to take the Ligt. Yeah, he can be our choice. 92 rated, Dutch. Ilaramendi, Luka Modric, Koke, Fabinho. We don't really have any Brazilian links, though. So I might take Luka Modric instead of Jorginho. And that would tie up a lot of chemistry uh, in the team. So I will take Luka. It pulls up to 94 chem. Um, maybe if I put him there, 97. Works a little bit better. Let's may as well see the goalkeeper now. Oblak, it would, well, one of the uh, keepers from La Liga would be better, wouldn't it? Oblak, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll just go with rating, guys. We'll take uh, Oblak, 90 rated. We've then got the uh, another centre midfielder, Guerrero, Honda, Soriano, Demira Bay, and Castro. No German, so it doesn't really matter. We'll go with we'll go with Guerrero, and then the striker pick. 
It's not a bad... Oh, Vinicius Jr. Lionel Messi as well. Daniel Sturridge. Who do I take? Messi. No. Because I'd want... Um, I'm going to go Vinicius Jr. over Messi. In case I can get Team of the Year Messi, and then I can drop his score down there, and then put Messi in there, if that makes any sense. Actually, I could get a better chem. I should kind of... There, 100 chem like that. And there's just two players on six. But the defence is looking a little bit sketchy um, at the moment. Oh, we get a prime icon. We get a prime moments icon, George Best. A... I can't not turn. Can't can't not take him, guys. We've got Vertonghen as well. No use for him. Marquinhos. Uh, but I'm going to take the prime moments icon, George Best. We finally got one after four drafts this week. Mbappe as well. Yeah, this draft just turned out to be well. I'm going to say I'm going to be. I'm going to probably. I say it's, gonna t it's turned out to be one of the ones which I'm going to win the draft with. Like it does feel like this is the draft which could definitely do the business. We we're actually able to bring in Rafinha as well, who would help me. Um, no. Maybe not. Oh, actually, if I move them to other, there we go. Bit better, innit? Get rid of Bruno as a starter. Buda Boos, Sane, Mares, Benega as well. So if we got a right back, but I don't really want to be. I want to be taking super juice players. We've got enough anyway. We've got enough super juice players anyway. So, so I might take. <laughs> no, you can never have too many super juice players, guys. Let's try and get this rating up. Uh, let's take Guerrero out and let's take Jorginho out. Does it go to one ninety? No, it doesn't. It's that centre back and that right back which are costing it. If I can get a centre back. It would have been perfect, but we don't. We get Carrasco, Kovacic. We'll take Kovacic. And then the final pick is probably going to be a silver. No, it's not. But it's not anyone to go shouting about anyway. Uh, we'll take the 77. But apart from that, guys, the draft looks pretty, pretty all right. Paul Pogba in the middle. George Best, you can see there, wouldn't really do anything anyway. He would lower his chemistry. So I may as well bring him on as a sub. Uh, we'll put Pogba back in. Um, and sub-wise, I don't really know what I'm going to do. Yet. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But I think we're going to have a very, very attacking team. Right. George Best will be playing. That's a, that's something which is happening. We don't get a French manager. We don't get a Premier League manager. We don't actually get much to do anything with. Um... Germans, no. Italians, no. Literally is the... Uh, who was it? The one Brazilian. Two Brazilians, sorry, getting chemistry there. So that's the draft done. How I'm going to work it, in terms of playing with it, guys, um, is we are going to drop probably Rafinha out there, move him there, take him out for Delict, and that leaves us for an end game change of whoever runs out of chemistry first. I and mean, like you can see, guys, Mbappe, Vinicius Jr., Leroy Sane, they're going to be the changes which do get made. But uh, for now, the team looks pretty good. I'm reasonably, yeah, I am happy with it. I'd be lying if I wasn't happy with it. I thought we've done pretty good today. So, guys, let's get into this draft and hopefully win the final because that's something we've not done for the last two days. So here we are, prime icon moments best. Not the worst looking of players, but definitely one which I wanted to get my hands on. And my first opponent did also have him in his team. So I was like, eh, eh don't really know which way this is going to go. And uh, the team itself surrounded with the changes that I did make of moving best into cam. And uh, obviously uh, keeping the rest. Bujagrena with the ball wall, ball wall. And then the shot completely bamboozles the goalkeeper. And uh, does put us 1-0 to the good in the fifth minute. A nice early start start to the game. Always happy when I get them uh, early goals, especially with the state of my uh, gameplay at the moment. It's not been the nicest uh, of places where I've wanted to entertain in draft, but a um, nice delicate chip there. Free header uh, from my man Bujagano, and that was 2-0 up in the seventh minute of the game. Um, very small striker. I know a lot of people are like unsure 
whether they should go on and use him. But he's not he's not the worst guy, is Butchel Gaynor. Um, he's definitely not the best. There is a better, better alternatives in the game, 100%, uh, in my opinion. I know a lot of you guys may not agree with that. Our second round do come up against Messi, Kante, Team the Years for days, as well as a solid defence. 91 rated draft. I wasn't um, in the nicest of uh, frame of minds when I did match up against this team, but I didn't want to be... Uh, didn't want to be slacking. And you can see ball through to Butchogreno. Butchogreno with the turn. Pass inside to Suarez. Suarez with a nice shot and a nice goal. Puts us 1-0 up in the 17th minute of the game. Or 16th minute of the game. Solid player is uh, is our man Suarez. A player which I've never really grown to love. But uh, he definitely does the business uh, when put in front of goal. There's a few times he's missed. I, don't know, I think it was yesterday's draft where we hit the post twice with him. But... Once he's uh, partnered with the right players, we can do some damage. We get uh, an early penalty as well in the 22nd minute. Virgil um, obviously deemed to have uh, caused a bit of damage to my player there as Pogba was about to unleash a shot and he gets dropped inside the area. Luka Modric steps on up, puts it to the right-hand side and uh, keeper jumps out the way um, and uh, allows us to go two goals clear, which is always fantastic um, at this stage of the uh, of the game and uh, in the first game we did alright, second game it was looking pretty clean as well and we put the ball through to best, best, honestly like prime icon best feels a lot like Team of the Year Lionel Messi, I've used Team of the Year Lionel Messi as you guys know and this was on low chemistry and hopefully by the end of the week we are going to be able to uh, have a play around with him and see how he plays on full chemistry but even on this chemistry he was doing the business now, that was a very, very lucky goal. Uh, don't get me wrong, it was a very lucky goal, but we're not going to complain about unlucky goals, are we? So, we uh, go 3-0 up, and then my opponent gets a chance. Um, no, does he get a chance? He did have a few chances, but he wasn't really getting clear-cut opportunities. We get the ball into Isco. Isco with the ball inside to Butchogreno, inside to Best. Best over to Suarez. Suarez to Best. He gets a run on the defender, fake shot inside, and then a brilliant finish puts us 4-0 up. And I was like, All right, well... I can't really see my opponent um, doing much uh, business from, from this stage, you know. So we should have been definitely clearing up at this point and uh, getting the work put in. Um, but the one chance my opponent gets, it comes from a massive through ball inside to Neymar. Neymar with a shot, simple finish. And... Um, Basically, it was me messing around, which caused that opportunity, and uh, he gets a goal. But Suarez through to George Best. George Best carries the ball forward over inside to Pogba, who is a very, very clunky player. He definitely doesn't suit the game now, in my opinion. Some of the chances he missed were ridiculous, but Budrigano, with the time finish, makes it 5-1 in the 66th minute, and uh, that will be the uh, nail in the coughing, uh, coughing at this moment because the next opportunity is a massive sky shot by Marcelo. Um, didn't think anything of it. Replays pop up and my opponent uh, presses a start button and realises he's not coming back into the game. Uh, so we are able to uh, progress on into the semi-finals. And you can see he just disconnects here. And that's us into the semis. So no complaints at all. And uh, a free at the back formation with some dangerous players in there. Goal scorers which can obviously hamper our progression. We can see Cancelo right mid, Ronaldo, Pogba, Aubameyang, Mane, De Bruyne, Van Dijk, Vertonghen, Kante, Koulibaly uh, and David De Gea. 100 chem, 90 rated team. A solid uh, looking dangerous team as well, one which I didn't really want to be having a um, giving him any chances. But we get the ball through to Suarez. Suarez with the ball inside to Best. Best through to Budrigano. And from that angle, he should be scoring. He does score. And uh, we do go uh, 1 0 up in the 13th minute of the game. Absolutely fantastic. And. Uh, all we had to do was try and shut out my opponent that little bit longer, and we would have been good. But um, my opponent was getting opportunities. He was getting chances, you can see, from kickoff. Ball inside to Ronaldo. Intercepted nicely by the defence, and we catch him on a counter-attack. Long through ball into Suarez, who goes straight through the body of the defence. And Suarez hit the post, bounces out. Empty net for Butrugano to put the ball in. And... Uh, Simple as that, guys. We go 2 0 up, and uh, at this point, I was probably looking to uh, get my opponent out of the game. But anything can happen, you know, especially in FIFA. Anything can happen. Sometimes you can get the opportunities, and uh, then it turns on his head, and we're getting caught with simple passing. Ball inside to Ronaldo, one touch and one shot. Uh, he makes it 2 1 in the 21st minute, bringing us back to life in this game. Uh, like I said, I was very annoyed to give up that. Well, I didn't say that. I was, I was un. 
happy at giving up that ball as I thought I definitely should have been having the bigger and the better chances um, in this game but ball into Bamiyan goes for a shot bounces out and look at this way this goal is scored what even is the keeper doing it's a full chem goalkeeper and he bounced out for De Bruyne for a simple finish so we put ourselves um, in the in the wrong Wrong place now, from 2-0 up to 2-2. It was a game which went to extra time. Uh, with that, we do go forward with the ball. We do get the opportunity. And uh, Modric with the pass over to Mbappe. He hits a shot and puts us 3-2 up in the 91st minute of the game. A very nice goal. Solid, but we, sh we should be doing better. We, sh we definitely should be doing better um, and getting more goals. Because having all the opportunities and the two chances he had, he was putting in. 117th minute, though. We do kill out the game, and it starts from defence. He puts the ball into a Bamiyang. A Bamiyang goes forward, and we didn't really kill out the game, guys. We allowed him to score. That's what Bateson's. Uh... Yeah, basically, guys, that is what I'm like when it comes to uh, shutting out games. I allow my opponents to get back into games and absolutely uh, screw it up. So we go one nil. Um, sorry, from 2-0 to 2-2, to 3-2 to 3-3, to and then thankfully we don't allow this game to go to penalties. Could be inside the area. Nice pass back and Bappi with a turn, and the shot makes it 4-3 in the 121st minute and uh, does seal the deal, uh, putting us in a decent place to uh, go on and thankfully win the uh, semi-finals. Now all we've got to do is overcome our final game which is going to be up against the uh, moment's best, Suarez, Asensio uh, informed Spanish midfielder Luka Modric, De Bruyne, Can uh, sorry, Alonso, David Luiz, Van Dijk Zanetti and David De Gea it's 97 chemistry and uh, this game I felt all right. We're shutting him down fast and getting to him fast to cut out the ball. And you can see we track back here with Doherty. Doherty with the ball into uh, into Pogba. Pogba with a lacroquet inside uh, to Budrigano. Budrigano looking to get the ball to best. Decides to go by himself. Cuts the ball on the inside to Modric. Modric over to Suarez. Control and a brilliant tap finish makes it 1-0 in the 28th minute. All we had to do was see out the game uh, like this and continue playing like this. And we'll be in a good position to hopefully get some good packs. Especially with the upgrades out. Out. and uh, a lot of SBCs out as well so player prices have uh, little shot through the roof a little bit which is pretty nice Suarez with the ball he picks it on up he gets the shot away which is saved as I manually move the keeper uh, but my opponent gets a rebound and does pull it back to 1-1 so we're having a bit of a nightmare um, in terms of keeping leads um, but he's got a red card at this point as well. I think Virgil was the person who got a red card before half time, which did hamper my opponent's progression. Budrigano into best. Nice confidence by best and a brilliant shot makes it 2-1 uh, in the 54th minute. And from the rest of the half, I was like, right, well, this game's definitely in the bank now. It definitely should be ours. But it wasn't. My opponent was slabbing opportunities, even with that man advantage that we did have. Ball into Budrigano, into Suarez, Suarez to Pogba. Pogba carries the ball inside, looking to get a pass over. Sees the gap to Best. Goes to him finally, and Best with the chip and the header from Budrigano. We make it 3-1 and putting us two goals clear in the 64th minute. But the game was far from over. Um, like I said, my opponent was having opportunities, he was having chances, and he was getting very very close to scoring a goal and he actually does get one guys in the 65th minute junior with the ball inside to Suarez to De Bruyne to Suarez Suarez to De Bruyne and um, it, it takes a deflection goes underneath the keeper's leg but we do go back to 3-2 in the 67th minute but we are able to hold on for the ball keep possession keep the Consistent pass and play and uh, still open up the gaps. Ball into Doherty. He bombs forward. His stamina's gone, but he's not a bad right back, to be fair. Gets the ball on the inside. He's able to square it over for a simple finish for George Best to finish the game and win the draft final at 4-2 um, in this uh, in this draft final. So very, very nice. Now, the only thing which could make this draft better, uh, not only was using uh, Prime Icon moments best, absolutely fantastic, what would be good is if we get some packs, and we do, Finally make some bloody profit. And finally we win a draft, guys. Thursday's draft and we win it. Lloydy MUFC 7. Um, unfortunately got a red card with Van Dyke before half time. Then it just opened up my defence. Uh, sorry, his defence for me to go on and bish bash bosh all the way through it. 2-0, 5-1, 4-3 and 4-2 are the results from today. And uh, we get a premium gold players pack and a mega pack. Not bad. Not bad. And we've completed this foot swap deals player as well for the week. Our first pack. We're just looking for upgrades, really. See what we get there. We have here to centre-back. Uh, Bender. 
whose price may have gone up. May have gone up. Um, not seeing anyone else in there anyway. So we'll hold on to them players and um, get rid of these ones. Slitty, Lagardia, and uh, Diego Rico. And then we can move on to the Mega Pack. So consumables for days in these, as well as potentially a uh, one to watch or something. No one to watch, 83. 83 plus. Spanish striker, Valencia. Oh, Rodrigo. 84 rated Rodrigo, 90 pace, 82 dribbling. He does the work, he does the work. Um, we'll list him up. 84s are pretty rare at the moment. We'll keep hold of them. Actually, I might sell Bender. Because he's like a 2k, just under 2k player. Hold on to the others. Um, discard, 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 discard. Player contracts. May not sell, but we will keep on listing them up. 1k for the squad fitness as well. So there's one squad fitness there, two squad fitnesses there. And then the rest die out. So three squad fitnesses, that's 3k. Oh, let them fly open big because sometimes people don't pay for them. Sent them into cam. All injuries as well. Uh, what else is in there? I don't know how much that one's worth. 550. So at least that one does sell. And the same for the sent them into cam. That one should be... Uh, not really. So it's the other way around, and it cam to centre mid, which is the other one. Centre forward striker. Oh, I thought that was the extinct one. It must be striker centre forward, which is the extinct. Uh, we've got architect and the Wembley Stadium, and we will discard the career manager and Boko can go. So money may have been made, depending on if everything does sell anyway. I don't know if anything's sold since the start of the video. Actually, yeah, one thing has. Left forward to left wing, 150. We'll relist everything up and uh, come back probably tomorrow, guys, with the next episode and the final episode of the week and hopefully it gets something good. So let's have a look at the two items here. We have unlocked foot swap deals player one, Watson, and another foot swap deals player. And I think that potentially could be the ones I've got, guys. So I don't know whether what, you, what, what we should do. I reckon we should maybe crack on and open a pack, do an SBC through the players we've earned because we've done... Um, I don't know 100% how many I've got, but we have got some premium election players. Oh, I can't even do them anyway. Yeah, we've looked at this before. Bits and you're daft, you're daft. Guys, leave a like, rate, and subscribe. Until next time, bye bye.